Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudzumurovedi, and I am back with another bang. I am back, and it's so exciting to be here. I won't lie to you. Every time I get a chance to record a YouTube video, I get super excited and mostly because I like the people that are here. You are guys are a great family. I love you so much, my honeys. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, share for those that are here for the first time. We love you. We appreciate you. I hope you stay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> so let's get down to the business of the day. So today we are introducing a new series called Breaking the Walls. We are breaking the walls. We are coming with a bang. And the reason why I decided to have this series is because of every single one of you. I have gotten to a point where people are reaching out to me on my Instagram to say, Babe, Han, hello, hey, doll, how are you maintaining your career? How are you doing this on your own how are you continuing being a realtor when most of the people are giving up and how are you running so many companies how are you doing this how are you achieving this so we have opened a platform to all unpack all the questions that we have mainly about our success so in this channel we are definitely going to cry we are going to vent we are going to laugh and above everything else, we are going to encourage each other to the best possible, to the best possible ability that we can. So the main aim of this is that we are going to have experts to come and answer your questions. We are going to talk about different things that people go through in life and how they survive that. So today's episode is not going to be long. I just wanted you guys to have some tea of what this channel is all about. And we are going to start with your host to unpack a little bit of her life challenges that I have encountered recently and how I got out of them. So that is what this series all about. And I don't want this to be long. I want it to be very short and quick and we can just um, make sure that everyone grab what they can and then we all use it for our lives and hoping for a better life. And with that being said, then I'm gonna start unpacking the topic of today. Today we are breaking the wall of doubt what to do when you are in doubt how do i overcome doubting myself how do you tackle doubt Rudani? so that's what we're going to talk about today so let's get down to it so this is easy for me to talk about because i recently just went through a series of doubt in my life um two weeks ago i actually realized that i am doubtful and I didn't really understand sorry guys I just need to get myself comfortable so I didn't really understand where the whole sentiment of doubt was coming from and it took someone saying something for me to actually realize that I'm in a series of doubt and it, it has been happening but I couldn't really figure out what was happening so a mini story time is that um, when you are not a story time but then something let me tell you how my career works maybe that will make sense to you so when i started as a real estate agent three years ago obviously i started like any other person very small easy taking what i can maybe selling houses that are like uh, at a minimum rate like you're selling your small properties you're just trying to get your foot on the game i think this applies to each and every career whether you're an entrepreneur or you're working or you're employed so when you start something you start at a certain level and eventually you escalate from one level to the other so round about in the big in the middle of this year i had a conversation with my team leader where we were talking about my goals and where I want to get in life, which is something that we do on a monthly basis. So I told her what I wanted to achieve and what I want to get this year, and I unpacked everything that I want. And her response was simply that, okay, if you want to achieve certain things, then there needs to be adjustment into the things that you are doing, into the, the houses that you're selling, the areas that you're selling at. 
for me it was an excitement honestly i was very excited i mean i felt i'm being honored i mean i'm being promoted in a way <laughs> because if my leader can trust that i can take that kind of uh risk and stuff like that for me it was saying you have grown to this point right so we then relook the areas that i do we relook my strategies we then relook um the t the things that i the activities that i do to sell properties with that i didn't realize that there's going to be change that happens that i need to prepare myself with so now meaning that I was selling houses, let's say if I was selling one million houses in a certain area, now the houses are two million, three million, four million. So when that started happening and I then realized that, oh, actually now I'm no longer on my comfort zone. That is when I actually realized that there is a change. And instead of me acknowledging the change, running with it and enjoying the change or introducing new strategies, I became doubtful. Started doubting myself, started asking myself if I can do it, started asking myself if I'm capable. I started asking myself if I can, if I can maintain being the top sales agent because now I felt challenged. So in that moment, obviously, I'm just, what I'm doing now is to hide. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm just, I'm not prospecting. I'm not looking for new clients. I'm just there with these clients that I have and I'm afraid to get out because I'm thinking this is not what I can do. I cannot do this. I'm not worthy of this. So that is one of, one of, peop one of the things that I suffer with personally. For those that follow me on Instagram, I, have, I suffer a lot from imposter syndrome where most of the time I tell myself I don't deserve what I have. I'm sorry about that. And I do know all of us do that. We go through that, but we don't acknowledge it. So because of I suffer from that syndrome, it started kicking in to say, you cannot sell a 4 million property. You're not capable. You're just a black child. You're just a girl. You're just a baby. <laughs> and I mean, guys, I'm just a baby. <laughs> So that's what is what that is what was happening for me to actually realize that I am in doubt. It took a friend of mine to say to me randomly. So I appreciate my friend. I love her so much. Her name is Kiba M. I'm going to link a channel because you need to follow her. She's a good accountant. She's my personal accountant. And this series, it's she's one of the people that have inspired this series. She says to me at a random night two days ago, "Hi, babe." Like. I was just looking at your Instagram and damn, you have a beautiful life. You know when someone says you have a beautiful life and all you see is failure. It takes a minute or it takes a while for you to understand what they're talking about. And for a moment I felt like she's saying it because she's my friend. She's saying it because, I mean, she's my friend. But then my mind couldn't get past that statement. I started asking myself, what is it that she's seen that I don't see? That is when I then realized that doubt is when you do not see what other people see in you. Doubt is when you don't see the potential that other people say you have. So even if they promote you, even if you get a job, even if someone pitch a business idea to you, when you are in doubt, you don't see what they're seeing. So you don't believe that you are able to do that. So when she mentioned that and I couldn't see what she said, then I realized that I am in a face of doubt. And I needed to do something about it because when you are in doubt, most of the things that you're supposed to achieve, you don't. So when I do that, these are the pointers that I want us to talk about in closing. It's what I did to actually overcome the doubt. When I was in doubt, what was I doing? What I was doing when I was in doubt, I was watching other people's videos. I was watching other realtors. I was checking what my pe people that are realtors in Midrand are doing. But the thing is, I was watching it with a with envy, with trying to be them, not with trying to better myself. But when someone close to me says things like this about me, then it makes me to reflect on myself, to reflect back. So what I did now, it's what I'm going to talk about now in the next few minutes. The first thing that I did was to reflect back on the opportunities that I have. If I look down, I'm so sorry, my harness is because I want to just quickly read what I have here and then we can get done with this. So I had to reflect on the opportunities that I have. What are the opportunities that I have? Is the car, the house, the money that I showed my team leader in the beginning of a session of what do you want? 
so those are the opportunities that i had to reflect on so what am i getting with i'm getting by saying you need to have it written down you need to say it out with your mouth that i want this i want this i need this so those are the opportunities that when you are in doubt you go back and you reflect and you say if i said i want to buy myself this this year this is what i should be doing so eventually you get to align with your goals because you know what you want and also i then started trusting my values i said if i value something like this my my if people believe that i can do this for them then why shouldn't i then i started talking to the people that i know they believe in me so my sphere of people that i hang around changed then i started talking to my friends that i know they will encourage me my friends that will remind me you're yeah, our favorite realtor okay it's your favorite realtor so i started talking to those people that hyped me up and i reminded myself of my targets one thing about me i reflect on my targets every other week i tell myself what i want to achieve for the week for the next week for the next week and for the month so i went back to my target and i say girl you go to sell five properties in september and we are in the middle of september and you are still sitting here doubting yourself you gotta get up you go get up honey so that is when i started waking up and said mm -mm, mm -mm, if i have to fall from five I need to fall from somewhere because people are watching. My lovies are watching. My hands are watching. I'm doing this for someone. I'm, there's someone who's waiting for me to do this. There's a seller who needs to relocate that is waiting for me. So that is when I was now bringing up myself back to life. And the other thing that I love, which is one thing that we're going to do before we close this. There are two things that I love that I do and that I've seen that they changed my life. It's journaling. So I decided to write how I'm feeling about how I'm feeling and what I think inspired that feeling. And when I do that, it felt like I spoke to a boy best friend. So it felt like I just gave away everything. I just had a conversation with someone then I had clarity in my brains because sometimes there are things that you cannot unpack to people. But the best thing you can do, you can write about it and no one get over to see that. I mean, no one never get to see that. It's just you, your journal, and God. And you get to say however you feel in writing. And you can, from there, you can forget about it because it feels like you prayed about it, you left it to God, and that's it. The last thing that I do, that we are going to practice in this channel, is manifestation. We are going to manifest everything that we want. We are going to start by uplifting ourselves by calling ourselves winners. And I want you to say this with me, and I want you to mean it, and I want you to reflect back on it, because this is the most important part of this series as a whole, where we manifest the things that we want. And before we do this manifestation, I want you to also comment down below, please write your targets, tell us the timeline, because we are going to hold you accountable. We are going to monetize the people that are reaching their target this channel is going to take it upon itself to actually give away certain prizes for people that are going to write their targets and they're going to achieve them and they're going to send it to us to say look i said i wanted this and here i am because we want to see prosperity we want to congratulate each other we're building a nation where people are grateful of other people they clap for the other people we are excited to see you excel even when our blessing have not came we're going to clap that your blessing came and we claim it as a whole and then that is how we're going to make sure that everyone feels like we are winning remember nothing happens to you everything happens for you so if you are in a certain situation today it's not happening to you it's happening for you so, because when a situation is happening it's the time that you start adjusting yourself that you start doing things differently so the situation is happening for you to do something not to you so when you hurt about something it's not hurting to you it's hurting for you because after that you will never be the same person again so let's do our manifestation and thank you very much for tuning in i really appreciate you for staying until this and let's go ahead I am a winner, I am brilliant, I am lovely, I can do it, I am capable, I am strong, I am smart, 
and wisdom is my name. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. This is another episode of Breaking the Walls and I really appreciate you. I hope you stay. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and take note of the verse of the week and enjoy the rest of your week. See you on the next one.